Hi, third grade. We're going to jump right into our reading lesson today. You need to get your writer's notebook out and you need to turn to page 11. This is page 11 of your writer's notebook. Page 11. Get your writer's notebook out, pause this video, and turn to page 11. All right, and you should be back with your book. Also, you need to get out Magic Treehouse, your novel, number one, Dinosaurs Before Dark. And I want you to open up to page 23 here because we are going to be using our text a lot to answer these questions. We worked on finding evidence or talked about the importance of using evidence from your text to support your answers to questions. Not just any old evidence, relevant evidence. We used that word a lot yesterday in yesterday's lessons, relevant. Relevant is when something proves your point, the point that you're making it. Making it must make sense, must be relevant to your topic, okay? So we're working on those things with the questions we have here today. And we're gonna work smarter, not harder. We're going to flip our question and use words within our question to form our sentences. So remember, Mrs. Gosnell, she's not going to sit here and have you copy her sentences. I'm going to guide you into making your own sentences. I'm going to give you strategies, and you're going to use my strategies to form your own sentences. I will help you from finding that evidence that you need to support your answer. So in Chapter 5, Annie and Jack had a close encounter with the Triceratops. And we learned some things about the Triceratops. And that's what our first question is asking. What is a Triceratops? We have to use evidence from our text to support our answer. Hmm. That means we have to actually use what is in our text. What did our text say a Triceratops was? Let's look at page 23 in our novel. The dinosaur looked like a huge rhinoceros with three horns instead of one. It had two long horns above its eyes and another one grew out from its nose. It had a big shield-like thing behind its head. Triceratops, said Jack. Wow, a lot of description there. Do you have to use all of that? No, but I do want you to pick some details from the text to tell me what a triceratops is, using your own words. Also down here, remember Jack, he has that handy dandy dinosaur book and he flipped through the pages because he wanted to learn more about a triceratops and he found this caption next to a Triceratops illustration. And it said, the Triceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. This plant-eating dinosaur weighed over 12,000 pounds. Wow. There's a lot you can use there to answer that question. So everything you need to know to answer that question is right here in your text. That's why text evidence is so important and so useful, I mean. It's so useful because you can just pull out the book or the text that you're reading and grab your answer straight from it. Straight from it. Like I said, this is on page 23 of your novel. So you're going to need to pull that out and you're going to pull information from here to tell me what is a triceratops. And that's going to go right here. What is a triceratops? And you can say, you can definitely use the word triceratops in your sentence. So you can make sure you highlight that and use that. Um, and you can even form your sentence like this. The book said, The book said, or the text said, that's up to you whether you want to use book or text. The book said a triceratops, and check this out. Triceratops is an uppercase letter. Why? 
you may ask? Because it is a proper noun. It names a dinosaur. It's a specific name for a dinosaur. That's why it has an uppercase T. Remember, always check your cups. Not just the capital letter that starts the sentence. Your proper nouns need to be uppercased as well. The book said a triceratops is what? Is what? Okay, and make sure you end it with a period or another punctuation mark that makes sense. Must make sense though. Remember, page 23, you're gonna find a whole bunch of text evidence there. Now, let's look at number two. Does Jack write down the most relevant, most is the key word there, relevant details about the triceratops? Most relevant, remember we said relevant means it proves your point, it's relevant to the topic, okay? You're gonna think about that. Why or why not? Oh, whenever you see why or why not, you know you're gonna have to use that red word. Because, B-E-C-A-U-S-E, -E, because. You have to tell me why, okay? Let's make sure you're using the word because in this sentence that you're creating. Does Jack write down the most relevant details about the triceratops. Let's talk about that. I pulled out text evidence. Oh, let me see. Hmm. Okay, here I have text evidence to talk about this. Did Jack, does Jack write down the most relevant details? Let's see talk about this. Let me blow this up just a little bit so we can see. This is on page 26, so if you have your book, make sure you go to page 26 and 27. That's where we're going to find text evidence to support our answer to this question. Does Jack write down the most relevant details about the triceratops? Why or why not? So we're going to decide that. So this is what he wrote down. Let's just take a look at this. Jack wrote that the Triceratops eats flowers. That's what he wrote down. He actually, and he wrote down that he eats slowly. And he wrote down that he was nice. Is this relevant? So what we need to think about is why is Jack writing things down? Remember he said in the text, he said, we're, we're probably the first humans in the whole wide world who, is, who, who have ever seen real life dinosaurs. So we need to take notes, he said. So he plans on taking these notes back to his time, his present time, to inform them about dinosaurs and to help the scientists out. Now, is this enough? details to do that? You mean to tell me you went to the Cretaceous period? You traveled back in time and all the notes that you took were the Triceratops ate flowers and eats slowly and is nice? You mean you couldn't provide me with more relevant details? And let's think about nice here. That's an opinion. That's not even a fact. That's not even a fact. Not a fact. That's his opinion. He thinks that they're nice. Do we really, did he observe them enough to really know that? So what do you think? I know what I think. If someone went all the way back to the Cretaceous period where the dinosaurs lived and all, the only information they brought back about a triceratops is that he eats flowers and eats slowly and is nice, I think I'm gonna be a little disappointed. What do you think? So, let's go back there to our question. Does Jack write down the most relevant details? He wrote down details, but were they the most relevant? 
I mean, he wants to tell people, he wants to educate people about the Triceratops and what the real Triceratops was like, okay? Paleontologists, they only have bones. Is that enough? What do you think? So, you can say yes or no. Yes or no. Yes, Jack wrote down the most relevant details. Make sure you're using these words. No, Jack did not write down the most relevant details because why? Because it wasn't enough information? Because he should have probably thought about maybe describing what a real Triceratops looks like for the people he wants to share it with. Maybe he needed to observe it more to get more details. You tell me why. Remember to look at these pages, 26 and 27 in your book, so you can reflect on that yourself. All right, let's move on. We're moving pretty quickly. If you were Jack, what information would you most want to know about the Triceratops? So that's why it's important to really, really step into the lives of your character and who they are. And that's why we did a character analysis on Jack. So if you were Jack, remember, you are Jack. What information would you most want to know about the Triceratops? Now, it's not asking what you would want to know about the Triceratops. It's asking about what Jack, would Jack, if you were Jack, what information would you most want to know about the Triceratops? Use your text to support your answer. Now, I'm going to tell you some things here. Jack and Annie were really, really concerned about getting eaten, okay? And he really wanted to make sure that the Triceratops, if the Triceratops ate people, that was one of Annie's questions. Does he eat people? So if you were Jack, what information would you want to know? Now, they looked up whether or not he ate people. And Jack slammed the book shut and said, just plants, no meat. So what else do you think Jack would want to know about the Triceratops? Use your text to try and support your answer. Were there any questions that he asked about a Triceratops that didn't get answered? I know one. On page, let's see. Oh, it's on that same page that I took a snapshot of. So let's go there. On page 27, and I want you to go here too. On page 7, Jack says, Get back! Jack said again. He looks nice, Jack, said Annie. Nice? Watch out for his horns. Annie, Jack said. Now, the Triceratops did walk away. But, is that enough information to prove that he's nice? I, don't, I think that's not enough information to prove that he's nice. And what are his horns for? Maybe that's something that Jack should research. If I was Jack, I would really want an answer to this question. What about his horns, Annie? He said, watch out for his horns. I think Jack's a little concerned about his horns. I think Jack should research why the Triceratops has three horns and what do they use it for? I think he should research that. What do you think? I bet there are more things in this in the text you could find out. Maybe Jack should research. Okay? Remember, you are Jack. What, what information would Jack most want to know about the Triceratops? And you're going to put that here. So you're going to maybe put something like this. I think... Or, actually, better yet, use what's in the sentence. Use this. If I were Jack, 
That's how you're going to start your sentence. If I were Jack, remember Jack is uppercase J because it's a proper noun, the name of a boy. If I were Jack, comma, just like they did, they used a comma here. Comma just means pause. If I were Jack, pause. I would want to know or better yet use this word information i would want to get information Ugh. information if I were Jack, I would want to get more information about, and then tell me what more information Jack most want to know about the Triceratops. Okay, and you're going to put that right after here. Remember, you don't have to write exactly what I start my sentence out with. That's just as an example to get you started, get your juices flowing in your brains, your creative writing juices. All right. Now, for this, if you do not come in person, that means... You are not an in-person Monday, Tuesday person, or you're not an in-person, well, if you're not an in-person Monday, Tuesday person, you need to post a picture or a video of you reading this out loud, and I'm going to make a note of that. So my AA in-person people, I'm going to check your work when you come to school on Monday. I will check this and grade it on Monday. The rest of you need to post a picture of your work or a video of you reading this. And I'm going to post that below this video. Take care.